The blood oxygen saturation level or the SpO2 levels is one of the most important figures to keep a track during this whole virus pandemic. So that's why your doctor might recommend you to get one of these pulse oximeters. But here's the thing. A lot of Samsung flagship phones actually come with a pulse oximeter sensor built into the phone. So this is the Samsung Galaxy S10. Here is the pulse oximeter. So this is actually a dedicated pulse oximeter on the phone. This does not use the phone's camera. This is actually a dedicated sensor right on the phone. So starting from the Galaxy Note 4, all the Samsung flagships till the Galaxy S10 have the pulse oximeter built in into the phone. So this is the Galaxy S10 Plus. I've got the Galaxy S9 Plus. You have the pulse oximeter sensor over here. And I also got the Galaxy Note 9. This one also has the sensor built into the phone. Unfortunately, the newer flagships like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus does not have it. So unfortunately, the latest Samsung Galaxy phones like the Galaxy S20 and the Note 10 Plus do not have the dedicated pulse oximeter sensor. So let me show you how to measure your oxygen saturation level on the Galaxy S10. So we will unlock. All right. so. All you have to do is open up the menu and go to Samsung then open up Samsung Health. Open this app up and go through the initial setup and it should give you this screen. Scroll down to the part which says press and then tap on measure. So the way this works is that you put your finger on the sensor like this and now you sit still and quiet. Alright, so that is done. It shows that my oxygen saturation level is 98%, which is perfect. And my pulse rate is 84. It's 84 because I'm sitting in this position and I'm speaking. Now, let us do the same measurement with a dedicated pulse oximeter. Turn this on. I'm going to do this on the same finger. So it is showing 98% and my pulse is 85. So about the same so I would say the pulse oximeter on the Galaxy phone is actually quite accurate. But I would still say that you should consult your doctor before substituting the phone for a proper pulse oximeter. Now there are many third party apps on the Play Store that claim that they can measure the blood oxygen saturation level. So what those apps do is that they will use the camera's flash and the phone's camera to measure the blood oxygen saturation level. And I think that will not be accurate. So I urge you guys, if you don't have the Samsung Health app, go ahead and download the official Samsung Health application. And this makes use of the blood oxygen saturation level sensor on the phone to measure your SpO2 levels. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is measure the SpO2 levels on the phone and then we will compare it with the dedicated meter. So measure. So it is showing 100% oxygen saturation. We will cross check that. This meter, I have never seen this meter show 100%. It always stops at 99. Okay, let's go. Okay, so looks like this one is showing 99 SpO2 level and 78 pulse. So that is pretty much in the margin of error. So I would say that the sensor on the phone is pretty accurate. But still, these ones, I would say that these ones are a little bit more reliable compared to the phones. Do consult your doctor before using the phone as a dedicated SpO2 level meter. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you enjoy watching my content, make sure to follow me on social media and on my Instagram account. And do make sure that you subscribe to me on my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.